Is it time to buy or sell Disney stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Disney. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, May 31, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 10, 2023, our system has ranked Disney as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 2.45. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 13.03%. This translates to an average loss of minus 0.87% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock lies in the lower of a wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $87.75 is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 4.11% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 4.34% and 10.98%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 6.72% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 14.53% and 25.36%. This translates to a price range of $75.18 to $110.27 after a year. Our latest daily update for Disney includes the headline, Disney stock price ended on $87.96 on Wednesday after gaining 0.159%. The Disney stock price gained 0.159% on the last trading day, Wednesday, May 31, 2023, rising from $87.82 to $87.96. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.17% from a day low at $87.15 to a day high of $88.17. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a minus 3.32% loss for the last two weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 4 million shares and in total, 11 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $974.98 million. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $126.48, and the lowest price was $84.07. Currently, the price is 30.46%, or $38.52, below the 52-week high, and 56.67%, or $115.06, below the all-time high on March 8, 2021, when the price reached $203.02. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, January 4, 2023, Macquarie set a price target of 110. On Wednesday, January 4, 2023, Macquarie set a price target of 110. On Wednesday, January 4, 2023, Macquarie set a price target of 110. On Monday, December 12, 2022, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 115. On Monday, December 12, 2022, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 115. Analysts have given Disney stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Disney. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, May 30, 2023, and so far it has risen 0.159%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. 
The Disney stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $88.99 and $96.28. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, by signal 2 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 11 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 10 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 15 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 14 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 15 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 15 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 13 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Disney Disney finds support from accumulated volume at $87.82 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $1.02 between high and low, or 1.17%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.59%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Disney, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the Price to Earnings Ratio, or P.E. Ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A high P.E. ratio could mean that the stock is overvalued or that investors expect high growth rates in the future. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on August 08, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.10. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Disney. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Disney is at $91.99. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Disney encounters its first support level at $87.82. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Disney from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On April 25, 2023, Woodford Brent conducted an insider sell of 1,145 shares of Disney common stock. On April 8, 2023, Coleman Sonia L. conducted an insider buy of zero shares of Disney common stock. On April 8, 2023, Coleman Sonia L. conducted an insider sell of 1,742 shares of stock option, right to buy. On April 8, 2023, Coleman Sonia L. conducted an insider sell of 6,602 shares of stock option, right to buy. On April 8, 2023, Coleman Sonia L. conducted an insider sell of 1,638 shares of restricted stock unit. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 20.009. Overall, insiders purchased 159,014 shares and sold 242,151 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Disney stock a good buy? Disney holds several negative signals and is within a wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. 
We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, June 1st, we expect Disney to open down $0.200 and start trading at $87.76. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.